Well, week two of college football is in the books. Hey, everyone, I'm Tamara Jolie. This is D210 TV right here on Time Warner Sports Channel. Well, this week, SMU came to number 23, Baylor, looking to make a statement and knock off a top 25 team early in the season. And they controlled the tempo and had a chance to do that in the first half. But in the second, some goal line picks proved too much to overcome as they ended up losing this one today. 40 to 13 the final but head coach Chad Moore says hey my team is young they have a lot to improve on and he doesn't see today as a moral victory but something to build on. I felt like our guys deserve to be in this moment. Uh, I felt like the moment wasn't too big for them. Uh, I'm extremely excited about the direction of where our football program is going. Uh, I think we're definitely trending. Um, trending upward and um, I'm proud of our players I'm proud of the effort they give. I'm not in this for moral victories uh, by no means but uh, um, you know, our guys came out and played hard, fought hard. We, we, we had opportunities to make plays. Uh, and a team like Baylor, you can't settle for field goals. you got to have touchdowns. And um, we, we, we cost ourselves a couple, couple of picks. Uh, actually, we had four turnovers. And anytime you have four turnovers, it's hard to win anything in a pick six. And so, but, uh, but when you look out on the field and you see the majority of those kids are freshmen and sophomores, um, you know, the, the, the future is getting bright. It is. And um, but I'm, I'm proud of our players and proud of their effort. Uh, we got to clean up a lot of things. We got we got to put the ball in the end zone and, uh, and we will. For the Ponies is a really big day for quarterback Ben Hicks. The red shirt freshman got his first start in front of the home crowd where he grew up. He finished today with 405 yards. He was intercepted three times, twice in the end zone. But overall, his coach says that is something certainly that his team can build on. One really bright spot, though, for the Mustangs is wideout Cortland Sutton. He continues to dominate back-to-back -back weeks. Today, he had a 20-yarder in the third quarter to the house, and he had over 100 yards receiving. The big storyline today for Baylor was the play of quarterback Seth Russell. You may remember last year he had that season ending neck surgery. Today he just wasn't sharp in the first. In fact, he failed to convert a touchdown. It was only 6-6 at the intermission. He finished today 26 of 47, was finally able to make a touchdown in the third quarter, but he will get that final tune up next week as they face Rice before Big 12 conference play begins. As for SMU, they'll finally open the season at home in Dallas, taking on Liberty next week. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'm Tamara Jolie. This is D210 TV right here on Time Warner Sports Channel. We'll see you next week, and you've just been credentialed.